Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing well. First of all, if you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed, then guys do consider subscribing my channel. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you. And you can follow me on other platforms as well. The link is there in the description itself. So let's get started with the problem statement now. The problem says generate parenthesis. So given n pairs of parenthesis, write a function to generate all combinations of well-performed parenthesis, right? So n value has been given to you. For example, uh, you can see n equal to 3. So means 3 pair. In pair, the parenthesis has been given to you. And you have to write a function to generate all combination of well-performed or valid parenthesis, right? So for example, if here you will see, so these are the well-formed well well or valid parenthesis. n equal to 1. So we are having just one opening bracket and then closing bracket. We cannot have like this, uh, uh, that first close bracket and then opening bracket. So that won't be a valid uh, pair of parentheses basically. So we have to generate all valid pair of uh, combinations and we have to return that in the output, right? So let's understand that how basically we'll be solving this particular problem. And once you have got the logic, then implementation you can do by yourself. Okay. So here, if you can see, uh, in this problem, we have to generate a pair of parentheses. We have to make a choice. We have to make a decision, a decision-based problem, a choice-making problem. So we can use what here? We can use recursion for solving this particular problem, right? So first thing is that you are having, for example, if talking about this one, so we are having this parenthesis. Right, this parenthesis we are having. So the choices, you know, for forming a valid parenthesis, the only thing that you have to be selective about is choosing the close bracket. Opening parenthesis you can choose always, right? But the close one you cannot. So for example, if this only we are talking about, so we have choice that when we don't have anything or no string, string let's say as of now our string is empty. So when you are starting you cannot choose a closed bracket because there is no empty bracket for forming a valid pair valid parenthesis you you need to have first opening um, parenthesis and then you can choose the closed one so first let's say you you have chosen the opening bracket then again here you have two choices opening one or closed one so opening you can always take let's say you have taken this opening one Right. And let's say you have take this closed one. So that is also that is also fine. Right. Now again two choices opening one or closed one. So opening again as you see we can take n equal to 3 is given to us. Now here also can we take a closed one? Can we take a closed one? Well yes we can take a closed one. Now here opening and closed. So opening you can always take as I have already told you. So opening you have taken. Now, you cannot take a closed one. This will be invalid. This will be invalid. This will be invalid. The thing is that you should first have an opening bracket. See, this, this already formed a valid pair, right? For an opening bracket, we had a closed bracket. Now what? Now there is no opening bracket left, right? Or you can, you can just think in this way that, you know, to choose, to choose for a closed bracket, there should be the opening bracket the number of opening brackets should be greater than that of closed bracket. Then only you can choose a closed bracket. So in this scenario, as of now, the number is equal, right? The number is equal. So you, you cannot uh, choose a closed bracket, right? So if you will, if you will proceed ahead, if you will proceed ahead. So here, now you have consumed all the, now you have consumed all the, all the, uh, what say, opening bracket right because n equal to 3 was given to us so now you can you cannot go with further opening bracket you can take a closed bracket right you can take a closed bracket then again like this you will proceed right similarly here similarly here if you are talking about similarly here so for this for this one you can take an opening bracket again you can take an opening bracket again so it would be like this an opening bracket again or you can take a close bracket because see this time, this time, what is the count of opening bracket? What is the count of opening bracket? Two and what is the count of close bracket? One. So it is greater, right? So we can 
we can this will be a valid valid uh, string formed right a valid combination formed right so like this we have to make a decision and we have to continue right so yeah that's how it is so for see for um, for opening bracket we have to be in the limit of this n and for close bracket we have to make sure that opening bracket should be uh, greater than that of the close bracket then only you can go and you can you know make a make a choice for taking close bracket so like this uh, you we have to continue we have to continue so as if recursion been mentioned so there should be a base condition when we have to stop so when we have to stop for example if all these valid pairs you are you you, you will see here so when the proper valid string that we have got so whatever string you have got right obviously we are taking care that should be a valid one like how we are taking that uh, opening bracket should be less than that of n and when you are making a decision or a choice for the close bracket then the condition given that the opening bracket should be greater than that of close bracket right the base condition would be when the string formed the length of the string formed is is what is what twice of the given n value because we have a pair right we have a pair right so the string form should be of length for example here it should be 6 so all the strings that you can see they will be of length 6 right right so that would be our base condition to stop for the formation of a string and that's how we will continue and forming rest of the strings and then we will have them in a list and then we are going to return them so that's that's the complete crux that's the complete logic of this particular problem so let's see how we have implemented in the code so here if you will see we have to return list of string right now um, we have wrote our recursive function here named as helper to which we are providing the result the list right and the number of the count of uh, opening and close brackets so initially they both are zero and the n value and our string right so that would be an empty string and return result so this is our base condition that when the length of the string is going to be equal equal to that of n into 2 we have to add that string to our list and we have to return means we have to backtrack and we have to look for other possibilities or other strings that could be formed right so that's what we are doing so first thing is that when open brackets is less than that of n so what we have to do we have to continue so open bracket see uh, as initially our string is empty so for we will add so here what we are doing we are adding we'll keep on adding this opening parenthesis right so as of here we are making the choice the decision of choosing the opening parenthesis so close number is not going to be affected similarly again when we are you know backtracking and we're getting into this if condition so for choosing or for making a decision to choose close bracket we have to make sure that open should be greater than greater than that of close if it is then we are again making a call to the helper method and here this time we are implementing the value of close bracket close parenthesis and here you can see in our string we are adding a close parenthesis right so yeah that's that's the whole logic and the code for solving this particular problem i hope you will be able to understand take a copy pen do a dry run try to understand okay how this is how this is working how this is working uh, actually right so so that you can get a better understanding of the things so this was a today's problem i hope you were able to understand let me know if any difficulty you faced or any feedback you do have in the comment section and uh, yes make sure to maintain your consistency we'll come up with different problem a new problem tomorrow bye bye